you know, another thing is, and this is why I spent so much time with all you guys on the blues, like in the first class. I said, we're just going to deal with blues for this class. Was because um, you have to take something that you feel comfortable with or that you think you feel comfortable with and to, to work out some of these about, concepts. Right, if you're thinking about the song too much, if you don't know the song. Right, right, because you still don't know the changes. Right. You, st you still can't really you play the changes. You stuff instead of thinking about just... Right, right what the sound right. is, trying to impose a certain sound over the chord changes. And so, with this kind of approach, taking something like a blues, taking something like a rhythm changes, and really getting comfortable, you know, being able to really just destroy the changes with whatever particular thing you're trying to do. And then when you're comfortable dealing with that, then stepping back and just improvising for a while. And then all kind of stuff will just start right. jumping out of your horn. Yeah, yeah, all kind of stuff will start jumping in your room. You'll probably surprise yourself with some of the stuff that comes out of your room. Like, oh, snap, what was that? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the time, um, and actually the whole time that you're sitting there practicing, improvising, that would be the time to record your practice right. session. So here what we've been getting in our plan, what I'm, what I'm leading towards or what I'm messing up. Yeah, exactly. And you, and because like I said, you'll surprise yourself. You play some, you get at some stuff. You're like, oh, I mean, I've already what was that? Myself with just like just certain lines, like I never really would have played before. Just certain intervals, like I would have never played. Mm -hmm. Especially without. And the thing is, like sometimes you listen back, you remember certain parts, mm -hmm. but you don't remember like how you got there, or how you left. Yeah. And I was like, man. <laughs> yeah, this stuff gets uh, real interesting. Very interesting. It's a lot of. Uh, a lot of fun, you know. It, well, you know, I'm I'm not as much about fun. <laughs> I'm about work. <laughs> but you know, the fun in this is uh, the fun is not supposed to be in the day to day. Um, the fun is supposed to be when you have an epiphany, when well, some stuff is. starts jumping out. The fun is when you're on the bandstand and stuff is really clicking. That's the fun, okay. Uh, but the fun doesn't happen very often. Most of the time, it's the work, and that's why I don't I don't like to try to convince people yeah, that they, right. yeah yeah, or try to you know you, I don't try to motivate people based on how much fun they'll have. I try to motivate them based on what the work is going to be. Right. But once they get to but that, there is a thing that people understand why it's fun. Yeah, you right. know, people understand. Get that get because when things you have to understand the stuff can actually happen. Like it's a lot to take in. And like even though you're going through it, you know you may you may get through it. You may be able to recite it, but you don't really use it <laughs> or whatnot. But when it's actually you start like knowing it and then knowing it for knowing it, just not knowing it for like you know what it would be in prose text. And that's when it gets like the music. It's like I really know how to deal with that stuff. I hear myself playing that stuff. I just gotta like like focus on it to the point where I know that I know it. It's that I, it's in there somewhere. Right, right, right. Is it right. Pop you want to grab it and be able to just totally Exploit manipulate it. Right. Yeah, right, right. It's totally, it's, it, I mean, it's your slave. Right. And I mean, that's the thing, like, my, every time I hear something new, it's, it goes into the bank until it comes back up, you know, until I really understand it. Whether it's here, I heard a CD or I went over something we did and I heard that one, like, I knew I remember that line from somewhere, like, you know, I was like, oh, that's just this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, mo most of the stuff that's, that, uh, that like really sticks out to me that I hear. Uh, most of it, it's not an issue of figuring out what it is. It's more of the clarity of it. You know, like you hear somebody play something and it's aggressive and it's clear what it is that they're playing. It's very work. It's 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 like you can hear the discipline in it. You can hear that it was supposed to be there. You know, it's right, right, right. You, it's like you can hear the discipline in it. That's like, okay, yeah. You can't really fake that. You know, some stuff you hear, and it's like a cat like looks up on some stuff. And yeah. You can you can hear that he looked up on it. Yeah. Now sometimes that's how slick it is, right? Depending on how slick it was, you're like, okay, okay. Uh, he yeah, up on right, 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 right. <laughs> but the stuff that I I really, you know, it, and and I think the stuff that most people fear. I mean, let's talk about this. You know, they fear hearing in somebody else's playing. Because sometimes, like, you listen to people and you don't want them to be too raw. 
<laughs> you want them to be, you want them to be kind of good, but you don't want them to be real killing. And the stuff that you really don't want to hear them playing is all that real discipline stuff. Because you know how much work it's going to take between where you are and where they are to get to, play it. to, get to be able to play it. Right. And there's no, and there's no, Nothing else you, you can't, <laughs> right, right. It's not some stuff they lucked up on. It's not some stuff that, hey, you know, you can just kind of vibe with this. No, it's not that kind of thing. That's the, that's the, <laughs> that's how you can strike fear in the hearts of, I mean, not that that should be the goal, but that's how to strike fear in the hearts of other musicians is that your stuff is just so, it's so disciplined and it's so, it's just so worked out. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not raw. Right. It's, it, it's, it's still raw. It's a different feel where you can tell somebody's like relaxing and still killing, like mm -hmm. you're not really even thinking about it yeah. really. It's just, that's them. See, there's a way to practice rawness and, and cats don't deal with that. But there's a way to deal with rawness. And uh, actually, what rawness is, is just stretching. It's always stretching. It's always reaching right. and always stretching. Like That'll like give you that sense, it's that hunger. See, that's that's what people are talking about when they talk about, oh man, he just had this like rawness. Right. It's because like, there's he was just... Like, he was you're right, yeah, yeah. he was trying to like do something that that, that is not really, you know... <laughs> that hasn't been done. He's, right. he's trying to reach for the next thing. It he's just reaching. Like, raw and print, like uncut, like, you know, like he right. just was going after that. Right, but it's like within that, it's like you can hear uh, in certain players that try to do that, you can hear the discipline along with that that reaching and that rawness. Mm -hmm. That's what separated Train from mm -hmm. everybody else. It's like there was other cats that they might have been hungry, but they didn't have the discipline to go along with it. Or there were cats that had the discipline, but they didn't really have the hunger. They you know, you they weren't really reaching. It's like they found what it was that they were trying to do, and that's all they needed. That's why we miss with Seth Baker, really. Like, well, Sonny Stitt, I mean, was was like perfection, but Sonny Stitt was was satisfied in what he developed what he played, and played. past a certain period of time he didn't really reach for anything else now it always sound like it always sounded fresh in a sense but it wasn't like he was really reaching or grabbing for something else Charlie Parker though Charlie Parker even though he might have been playing some of the same stuff it was like he was always reaching for something else He's trying to do something that he hadn't done before That's like but then he didn't necessarily have the same level of discipline right so you see, you can see different sides of that, and then of course, Train just had both. Right. He just he just had both. I mean, he he had a, a ridiculous hunger, but then he had the discipline to pull with that hunger. So he would be hitting that stuff, and he'd be surprising himself on the hit, even with some of the stuff that he was hitting. Mm -hmm. But he could go anywhere he wanted to go because of all that discipline, all that time in the practice room, hitting stuff that he would never actually play. See, that's, that's, that's the thing. It's like, but how am I going to use that on the band set? That's not the point. You practice stuff so that you rule out all the options. Right, you, right. You, you, you're, 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 um, <laughs> you, you're, you are making sure, okay, okay, how, how can I say this? You make sure you not even come across something you haven't done before or seen before. Right, right. And, and it's, okay, you are, you want to be overqualified, kind of like that. Right. You're trying to be overqualified for the job at hand. Exactly. That's right. Overqualified. So that, no matter what happens, you're always going to be able to deal with it. Right, because there's always going to be something that's really easy compared to a yoke, which you keep yourself held to. That's right. You should never you keep yourself held higher than what everybody else was ever expecting, and you ain't got to worry about being yeah. inadequate. Yeah.